Today we're drawing the spotted tail quoll, so get out your pencils and paper and follow me along with this drawing. I've a sketch pad here and I found quite a few sketches I've made of quolls. So some that I could probably work on here and I will. Maybe this one. Okay, I'm going to start off marking off a few shapes here. Now, they've got such long tails, I've got to leave plenty of room for the tail there. So here I am, sort of marking out, sort of roughly the shape of the animal. And the way this animal stands, often the two front legs are sort of perfectly aligned, like really stiff, and the back legs are often sort of a bit splayed out. So the front legs are often straight like that, but the back legs are often like that. Very similar to Tasmanian devils and thylacine. So the knee of this animal is about here, which goes up there, be a short muscle there, and nice big back end of the animal there. And it's got its heels down onto the ground as well. And there's some nice shapes here which I've got to get in. Putting ink on this so I can get rid of any construction lines I don't want. I'm using shapes here, very devil like shape. They are closely related to the Tasmanian devil. So it's like a, almost like a slender Tassie devil face. Same family group, they're all called Dasierad, which means spiky tail. Big shiny wet nose, very much a predator. The jaws are a little bit different from a devil, hasn't quite got the the cheeks quite as chubby as a devil, but close. So these dark guys do pack a mean bite. Now it's too thick through here. I'm gonna raise that tummy up there, make a little correction there. And that'll be much more quail like. And they've got much longer necks than Teddy Devils do. Some spotty shapes here. Pull out the ink. Now when I do the fur on these guys, basically from the nose, the fur just basically goes to all the outer limbs and to the tail. So it's good to know that fur pattern. And a little bit like stippling. I am spreading out little dashes instead of dots. So stippling is where we just use dots to make up an image, which I might use a little bit on here. But when I do fur, similar principle, just with dashes. Another way to stop getting big drops of ink where you don't want it is to only dip about that much if you nib in. And it still works. If it doesn't work, you just do a little tapping like that till it does work. Do a few dashes all over, just mapping out where you're going to have that fur. So sometimes your fur almost takes a right angle like that, but it does it very gradually. So just like the stippling where you put the dots closer together, you put the fur closer together where you're going to have a bit of shadow. Just want to put a bit more of heavy furring under here, just to give it a bit of weight. On the snout here, the fur is so short it's almost stippling. As in stippling the style of drawing dots. And there's an inked in spotted tail quoll. And finally, take these pencil lines out. 
usually when we do this might see that I have to do a few more lines here and there. Like the back of the neck, for example. Straighten those bits. And here we have our spotted tail claw. And I'll leave that bit there because it looks cool. And so there it is. There's our spotted tail quoll. And that was the spotted tail quoll. Join me next week when we're going to draw the collared lizard. <laughs>